So this is exciting. Here is our first off the line supercapacitor. I'm pretty pleased with it actually. So it's 18 volts and um, I think it's around about a thousand farads. So I've obviously got to check on that a bit more just to get that absolutely spot on because you can't say one thing and it'd be another. But the really cool thing about this is the power density of it. So you will notice the rubber gloves. And that's because I'm actually a little <laughs> afraid of it. It's quite a powerful thing and it does arc a little bit. Now, this is a 18-volt um, scooter motor taken from an electric scooter, and it takes quite a lot of power just to turn that thing, quite a lot of torque. It draws about four amps or so just to turn it, and it does arc a little bit, hence the rubber gloves. Now, you probably can't see that turning, but that's turning away there. You should be able to hear it. So, our little supercapacitor will turn a scooter motor. This one is a um, 14 volt drill bit taken from a hand drill. It's not quite so scary with this one. but And it will easily turn a hand drill. That's very cool actually. So we are super pleased with that. I mean super pleased. Now we've done it in the blade design, so you can see the um, black block here in the yellow plates. Now obviously I haven't cut the yellow plates as prettily as the blade, which is that shape. So um, I'm probably going to do a little bit of redesign on these blades actually. Now if I take that to pieces, there is the supercapacitor itself. So that's the supercapacitor. Now that weighs 200 grams. It's 18 volts, it's about a thousand farads, pretty impressive really I think. And these are the end plates, and you see the big bit of metal, that slaps on that end plate there. That is the connection to that plate here, is where the actual connection is made. Now it's made up of a whole series of these things, which are the individual cells. So the individual cell is two of those plates, a bit of carbon, electrolyte separator, another bit of carbon, another plate, and then we just build those up to make our supercapacitor. So that is the finished device, that's what's going to be done. Now the difference between the supercapacitor and the battery isn't anything in terms of construction, they're the same size, same construction. It's just that one of these materials in the battery changes. Obviously the difference between a battery and a supercapacitor is there's a lot more power density in a supercapacitor, it can really chuck out a lot of energy to begin with. Whereas a battery tends to be much steadier. So they're, they're different things, different functions, different jobs that they do. But there's our supercapacitor and that's the first off the line and that's what's going to go up for sale. Now we're going to put that up for sale through our shop or on eBay and it'll be in the next couple of weeks. The main reason for that is uh, I need to tie down the specifications of it so that we know exactly what's on that. So like I say, it's around about a thousand farads. I need to test that and make sure I've got that spot on. Um, we need things like what the ESR is. Now the cycle life is thousands actually, tens of thousands, because it's just two carbon plates. It doesn't need balancing, so there's actually um, 10 cells in there. So each cell is 1.8 volts, that's got 10 of them in there. Uh, and it doesn't use electronic balancing because it uses chemical balancing. So there's a, an additive in there that acts to cycle around once it goes above 1.8 volts. And that spreads it across all of the cells so the whole device, in fact, balances itself. So we don't need electronic balancing, which is kind of really cool. But there's a few of the specs that I need to actually sort out before I say what they are, really. Just because whenever you say something, people hold you to it. So I want to be right when I say something. In terms of its actual size, it's um, 12 centimetres by 12 centimetres by 0.8 uh, of a centimetre thick. So that's the volume. And the whole device weighs 200 grams. So that's the, 200, that's the entire device. And it's got that energy density on it. Now, I did look up um, competition on this. And on Alibaba, they were advertising a Maxwell supercapacitor at 16 volts and um, 500 farads. And they said it was 20 centimetres by 20 centimetres by 22 centimetres, and they reckoned it weighed four and a half kilos. I'm not sure if that's right or not. Uh, it seems a bit odd, actually, but, but that's what the specification was, and so I compared it to that. But if I think about it in terms of um, something like a green cap farad for um, capacitor, for instance, that's 500 farads at 2.7 volts, weighs about uh, 60 grams or so. So the whole thing of this would be about 600 grams if I made it out of... Um, um, 
green cap supercapacitors. Um, so I guess about a kilo sound about right for the competition. So ours is 200 grams, much, much smaller, against a sort of about a kilo or so, something like that. So what we're going to do now, obviously, is uh, do a little bit of redesign on the plates so they look nice, um, which obviously isn't going to affect the performance a jot. But a little bit of redesign so you get a pretty device. We um, just need to tie down some of the uh, metrics of this, like the um, ESR, for instance, is something that people are going to want to know. But it is obviously power dense because, you know, it can turn that motor, and, and that's very cool for a high power application. I think I'm running it, um, I'm not too sure, to be honest, if I think about it. I can get about 30 milliamps out of one square centimetre, and one square centimetre weighs 0.0. .0 two of a gram, giving you some idea of what the amps per gram would be that this thing can kick out. So it's pretty cool what it kicks out, but like I say, a couple of other things to do. But the plan is to have that on sale now in the next few weeks or so, not very long at all. Uh, and that is the first device that's come off our production line. We're really pleased with it. And so I thought I'd share it with you. The production line is up and running. We're producing devices from it right now. We'll be uh, tying that down a little bit and those devices will be going up for sale very, very soon indeed. So I thought I'd keep you up to date with that so that you could um, see where we were, see what we were up to. Now obviously we uh, have a live event coming up and that live event is for making graphene. So we're going to do a graphene making live event so don't forget to get your kit if you want. And I'll put the link to that incidentally in the description down at the bottom. And equally, as I say, um, this will be going up for sale in the very near future. We have um, finished all that we need to finish on it, and now we just need to produce a few and tie down those metrics. But I thought I'd keep you up to date, and it is, of course, the uh, New Year. So, Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you had a really good Christmas. And um, it looks like this year is going to be very exciting indeed for us. So, thank you very much for watching, and um, Tune in again.